To hire an interior designer, um, I would say synergy is really important. You've got to get on with them, You've got to understand um, if it's a private client, then that's the most important thing is to feel, um, to develop a trusting working relationship. And if it's a more commercial um, type of project, then there'd be a more commercial angle to it, as well as the aesthetics. So, and talk to, talk to more than one, definitely. To use an interior designer, then you have to be prepared to listen. Otherwise, they're just um, someone who, who services your, your, your requirements. Um, I think it's a waste of money. Um, you don't always have to take an interior designer's advice, but you should, should listen. So when, when I'm meeting with clients for the first time, uh, I always say to them, choose, uh, choose the designer that you really have a rapport with. Um, don't just choose them on necessarily the projects they've done or certainly not the fees they're charging because I think you know that rapport is really important especially when you're doing somebody's home it's a very personal process that you go through. I think it's very important for a client to have a look and research who they think would suit them and again that's very much driven by personality the style that the designer can achieve and also budget because that's very important and if it's a small project or a huge project the type of designer you choose would probably be different so for a client in, in hiring an interior designer i think the most important aspects are deliverance quality controlling that quality and when they get where they're going to make all the product um, after service care is critical. You can't just finish a job and say goodbye. You've got to finish it and be there actually for 10 years time. Um, someone they can trust, someone that listens and gets the brief and someone who's flexible. Someone who is happy to take on a client's brief, not your own brief, that never works. My advice to someone who wants to hire an interior designer is to spend a bit of time getting to know that person. I mean, obviously you'll have done your due diligence and look for people who have um, a reputable uh, profession and, and, and maybe you've come to finding an interior designer through word of mouth, which is how most of our clients find us. They've either seen something we've done or, or they know of someone who's worked with us. But you need to like this person. You need to feel that they're going to understand your vision because they should be creating your home, not their vision of what your home should be.